it sees a truly unique location, its geological and historical background makes it a top destination for travelers and adventure seekers. The shores of the Dead Sea is the lowest point of the surface of the Earth, and swimming in the Dead Sea can provide many health benefits. To get to the Dead Sea, we drove over an hour from Jerusalem through the West Bank. The view outside the windows, for the most part, was just an empty site with date palm trees. But along the road in the middle of absolutely nowhere, we came by a McDonald's. At first, I thought this was a mirage. The Dead Sea has a few main little beach cities, but the names of Nevis Zahar, where our Airbnb was located. The place itself was solid, nothing too special, just close to the main beaches. And there's also Ain Bokek, the largest hotel and resort district. Ain Bokek is home to the world's most lowest grocery stores, all-inclusive resorts, and many gift shops selling the good stuff, such as Dead Sea mud masks, Dead Sea cosmetics, all kinds of swimming gear, and in the area, there are a few restaurants. There are five main public beaches at the Dead Sea. We had a chance to visit the Ain Bokek one, and the Nevis Zahar public beach, which we'll get to later. The public Ain Bokek beach is free, for something that attracts tourists in Israel to be free is quite surprising, actually. Guys, this is amazing. They say you cannot drown at the Dead Sea. Look at this. I'm floating right now. This is unreal. In Bokek is a better beach in my opinion, as it has large umbrellas to hide you from the heat, showers, and incredible views. The ultra saline waters of the lake, which are 10 times saltier than the Atlantic Ocean, means no fish or living plants can survive in the water, hence the name Dead Sea, which also means you don't have to worry about accidentally stepping on seaweed. This beach in particular does not have mud, but instead salt crystals. If you'd like to experience the Dead Sea mud, you'll have to travel up north to the Kalia Beach, but for now you can just purchase a small bag of mud for $10 at a local gift shop. The Dead Sea has major health benefits with backed up research that the mud can relieve pain, reduce inflammation, help treat acne, and reduce skin impurities. These health benefits attract over 800,000 tourists per year. When swimming in the Dead Sea, be very careful. If the water splashes in your eyes, you can experience severe burns or it can likely blind you due to the high salt capacity, which means avoid ducking your head in the lake. They also say it's impossible to get a sunburn at the Dead Sea. It looks like that theory did not work on me. Not far from Ain Bokek, there's another public beach, located outside an all-inclusive resort. This beach has freed beach chairs, there's a lifeguard on duty, and unlike the Ain Bokek beach, this location has fine salt. Floating around is cool and old, but it was extremely hot here. I mean, it makes sense because we're in a desert. The Dead Sea was also referred in the Bible, but believed as Sodom and Gomorrah. God agrees to spare them if at least 10 righteous people were found in these cities. Ten people were not found, and the sinful cities were destroyed by sulfur and fire coming from the sky, which can explain why the Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth. Lot and his family, as the righteous among the inhabitants, angels warn Lot to quickly evacuate the city and not look back. As they flee, Lot's wife looks back at the city, and she turns into a pillar of salt. This pillar of salt is believed to still remain till this day, and we were on a mission to find it. As we were looking for this pillar of salt, we were looking for this statue in particular. Then later, I found out that this pillar was located on the other side of the border, in Jordan. And it said it's this one that's located in Israel. We didn't notice it because it looks like an ordinary rock, and it doesn't resemble a person in my opinion. This popular vacation spot is unfortunately slowly disappearing. The lake level is dropping 4 feet every single year. While this truly unique place is still here, come see it for yourself.